Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I am Kat, the Nurse Flipper. I am a full-time reseller. I did a video on paperweights about a week ago. I did ones that were worth a thousand dollars or more and a lot of you asked if I could do lower price ones. So today we are going to do five hundred dollars up to a thousand and then next week we will do ones under that five hundred dollar mark. So we will do that as well. There are a ton of amazing names in here and makers to be on the lookout for. I want to say, and I say this pretty much every research video, all of these names are gonna have lower dollar pieces that you can find probably a little more easy than these rare higher dollar ones. But learn these names, learn what it looks like, kind of train your eye to watch out for this stuff and hopefully you'll find some soon. dollar ones these are not exactly low dollar but they are going to start at 500 go up to a thousand and next week we will cover those under 500 dollars look let's go ahead and get started all right so this first one is a new in box john wolf ocean seascape art glass globe paperweight it does say sign this one sold for 500 dollars on the dot and this one you can here really really pretty greens and blues as well as kind of some little bit of yellow tone look at the starfish there absolutely amazing amazing piece really really spectacular when it is lit up for sure and look at that yellow on the top when that light shining through and then there it is without the light now here on the bottom you can see it is clearly signed john m wolf and here is kog wpw and it also i don't know if this is the date 513 possibly but definitely a gorgeous gorgeous paperweight you can see here they show it is still in the box it is kokomo opalescent glass is what that KOG stands for. And, and this one was a great, great sale at $500. Next, this one is pretty cool. It's a Oiva Toika Turkey Fowl Annual 2005 Glass Bird Latala Finland. It does say mint. This one sold for $545. And this was a U.S. seller. I do want to point that out. And beautiful, beautiful glass paperweight. Now here on the bottom, you can see that Itala sticker on the bottom. It also has the number 200, oh, 2005. So you can see the Itala sticker as well as the 2005 there on it. So you would be able to identify it with that sticker. However, there is also a signature here. This is the O Toika that is on there as well. So several different markers on this one to be able to identify it and a great sale at $545. Up next is this Christopher Reese Iridescent with Swirls Golden Paperweight. It does say it is signed and dated. This one sold for a best offer on $600. This is a beautiful iridescent glass piece, one of my favorite types of glass for sure. And you can see here, these are pretty hard to get pictures of because of the reflections in the glass, but you can see absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paperweight. And here you can see they're showing it from all angles. Here's the Christopher Reese, and that is pretty easy to read. It is in cursive, but definitely one I feel you would be able to make out pretty easy. And this one was a great sale at almost $600. Next, this one kind of caught me off guard. Let me know what you think of this one and if you would have thought that this was worth this much this one is a seg saturday evening girls paul revere pottery paperweight goose rare color and again maybe it's just me maybe you knew about this and i'm the last one to know but if you didn't definitely let me know down in the comments this one sold 
for $599. And here you can see it up close. Really, really cool. Look at it. It's a pretty small piece. You can see there next to that quarter. And it is a thicker piece than what it looks like when photographed from the top. And you can see they are getting all different angles of this to make sure that that buyer can see everything. And then here on the bottom, you can see the Paul Revere pottery very, very clearly marked there on the bottom. And this one was a great sale. One that I would not have known about unless I did this video at $599. Up next, this is a really, really neat piece. This is Jim D'Onofrio, Owl and Mouse Glass Paperweight. This one was an auction, but it only got one bid. It sold for $639. Really, really cool with the owl and the mouse there. So here you can see the moon also behind the owl, which is pretty cool. Here you can see that split. I can see the gem there. It is signed Jim Dan Onofrio. And unfortunately, these other pictures do not want to load, so we cannot see them. But this one was an absolutely great, great sale. Definitely clearly signed and sold for $639. This one I think is one of my favorite ones and I've never seen anything quite like this. I am familiar with the Misen name. This is a Misen fine antique 19th century porcelain pug dog paperweight. Does this say floral desk pen? This one sold for US $632.96. This one is sold from over in the UK and look at how cute this thing is. I'm sure all you pug lovers are drooling over this one. So, so cute. You can see the Misen, the cross swords is a Misen mark in case you did not know that. So definitely watch out for that. I also want to point out, look, this has a defect. There is a foot broken off on this one, which... It is a very rare piece. And even with that foot, even with that foot being broken, this one still sold for $632. And what we will do is go ahead and take a look since it did get 26 bids. It looks like there were 13 different bidders and it was started at 99 cents, 99 cents into $632 US. Incredible, incredible sale. Next is a Cartier Panther Cat Paperweight Sterling Silver Blue Crystal Ball. This is a really, really neat piece. This one sold for $663.10. And here you can see it is in its original Cartier box. Beautiful, beautiful cobalt blue with silver. I absolutely love this paperweight. They are showing the box and that there is a little discoloration on the box. That is what a Cartier box looks like. If you don't know that, definitely something good to know. And you can see it does still have the sticker stating it is a Panther. It is sterling silver and crystal. You can see on the Panther, it also says Cartier and 925. So even if it was without the box, you would be able to identify it. And this was a great sale at $663. Up next is this Stephen Korea 1985 Black and Aqua limited edition, five of only 25. So typically the lower the number made, the higher the value. This one sold for $657.99. Really, really cool kind of faceted front. I do want to show you here. You can see the Stephen Korea here as far as the signature. I can make out the Stephen. I'm not sure I would have been able to make out that Korea. Now, here on the bottom, you can see it does say Black and Aqua 1985, as well as limited edition 5 of 25. So if you saw that limited edition, saw that it was signed, this is a really, really cool paperweight. I love it from this angle here. Absolutely gorgeous 3D paperweight. And this one was a great, great sale at $657. 
Next is this Victor Trabuco paperweight, rose pink, three and a quarter inch from 1987. This one is really, really pretty. It's a little more simplistic. It does have the faceted sides. This one sold for a best offer on $745. And here you can see it from the side, really, really pretty. Here is that signature. Again, if you come over paperweights, check them and see if they're signed. This is another one that's very easy to read, the Trabuco 1987. Here you can see it with the ruler. And this was a great sale at over $700. Up next, this is a really cool signed Richard Satava Art Glass Moon Jellyfish 1999 Sculpture Paperweight. It is eight and a half inches tall. This one sold for a best offer on $750. Look at this with the light. Super cool jellyfish paperweight. So, so detailed. And I will tell you, there are cheap jellyfish paperweight. So be very careful with that. Here you can see it is signed. It's hard to see it. There's the 99 and it says Satava and really, really great piece. And this one was there. You can see that signature a little bit better, but this was a great, great sale. It's a best offer on $750. Next is a Debbie Tarsitano paperweight fantasy flower with ladybugs. This is really cool. Look at those spirals and the ladybugs. Really, really neat paperweight. This one sold for $825. And you can see here, they do show it with a little bit different lighting. It's got the gorgeous cobalt blue there on the base. And here you can see it is signed Debbie DT99, another really, really easy to read. And this one is a smaller one. It is under three inches and still sold for $825. I am a lover of the ocean, so this one is definitely one of my favorites. This is a Gordon Smith paperweight. It does say upright plaque or aquarium. This one was an auction, got 23 bids, and sold for $875.89. The detail on this is spectacular. You can see here this is not a round paperweight. It is flat. Really, really neat. I would I would love to have this, but I don't think it's in my budget as of right now. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous paperweight. And here you can see the brochure that came with it. And this one, I believe, is number five or closest to number five, which was originally $800. And it sold for $875. This just shows that they have the pamphlet with it. And here you can see that whoever bought this paid $1,200 for it. So if it was the original purchaser, they actually lost money. So let's take a look here. Uh, it got 23 bids and there were six bidders. This one was started at $150. I always tell you guys, do not start auctions at lower than what you are willing to take. This one went for $875, but as you saw, that was less than the original owner paid. Next, I believe we had some of these in my paperweight video from last year. This is an Orient and Flume David Smallhouse Art Glass Paperweight with a gecko or a lizard. This is a really, really neat paperweight. It sold for $900. You can see here in the condition, it is number 38 of 300. So this was a limited edition. And here you can see it from the other side, really, really cool paperweight. And I would definitely put 3D if I had a paperweight that was similar to this. And this one was a great, great sale. You can see here the small house signature. And I, this was probably that original Orient and Flume sticker. And this was a great sale at $900. This one is really, really cool. I love the different looking ones that aren't just your traditional paperweight. This is a vintage St. Louis 1992 Klitschy Basket of Flowers Pedestal Paperweight. This one also was a limited edition. It was number 40 of 50. This one was also an auction 
got five bids, sold for $938.78. The detail of these little white stars is absolutely incredible. Incredible. I'll zoom in there to show you. I also want to show you, since I zoomed in, this was a perfect picture. If you look in the middle there, those canes, you can see SL for St. Louis as well as 1992. The signature on this one is inside of the paperweight. And this one is an absolute beautiful, beautiful paperweight really, really neat. And again, watch those canes inside because there's that signature again. And this one, the base here, you can see it upside down. They are two pieces. You can also see that 40 of 50. And again, $938 for this one. They got five bids. So let's click in and see and it looks like there were three different bidders and this one was started higher it was started at 7.99 another good good point of not starting lower than what you are willing to accept and they ended up getting an extra 138 dollars i believe that we had some of his paperweights on the high dollar one this is an exquisite chris buzzini Signed a floral bouquet paperweight. This one sold for $979. Really, really pretty floral paperweight. Tons of detail on those small flowers. Here you can see it is signed Buzini 89. You can also see the number. It was 21 of 25. So this is yet another limited edition and great, great sale at $979. Next is one of my favorite glass artists. This is a Steven Lundberg art glass paperweight from Lundberg Studios. I have found a few Lundberg pieces. I did have to pay up for them. This one is from 1991 and it sold for $974.99. This one was a buy it now. And here you can see, look at those cool cattails. This one's like a pond. You've got the lily pads, the lily flowers, as well as the cattails. Really, really neat piece. You can see it does have one faceted edge there. Gorgeous, gorgeous paperweight. Cobalt blue on the bottom. Lundberg Studios signature is pretty easy to read, as you can see here, the Lundberg Studios, as well as the date. And this one was a great, great sale. Buy it now at $974. We are up to our top five paperweights for the $500 to $1,000 category. This is a set of three Viking glass uranium lime green glass mushrooms. They did put glows. This was an auction, got nine bids and sold for $985. And here you can see, I personally would have probably used the photograph with them glowing for my front one. There they are again. Lots and lots of glow on these. And it is that set of three of them. And you can see they are showing the measurements on all three of the mushrooms. Tons of pictures. When you have stuff that's worth almost $1,000, you want to take lots and lots of pictures. And this one got nine bids. We'll take a look and see where they started it. This one had four bidders and was started at $725 and ended up at $985. Next is a Mark Matthews signed uranium marble iridescent. It does say Indian corn from 2011. This is a smaller one. It's two and a quarter inch. They accepted a best offer on $999. And here you can see they do have the card with Mark Matthews. I'm going to assume since this one says it's uranium that it glows, but I don't see any pictures with a black light. This is just with that regular light. And this one was a great sale coming in close to a thousand dollars. This one is a gorgeous Millefiori garland. You can see the tracks of the little Millefiori garland throughout. You could kind of follow them, which is neat. This is a concentric paperweight. It was an auction, 
but it only got one bid at $995, but you only need one bid to sell it. So start it where you want to get and hopefully you get more, but even with one bid, it is sold. This one does say it does have a couple of teeny rough spots felt, but not seen. So you want to make sure you give them that information. And here you can see the different photos they took. I do not believe this one is a signed piece, but this is a beautiful, beautiful paperweight. Look at those ribbons on the bottom. Gorgeous, gorgeous paperweight and great sale at $995. We have another Cartier and this one looks a lot different than the other we saw. This is a vintage Cartier magnifying glass paperweight. They did put silver, France, and lapis lazuli. This one, they accepted a best offer on $1,000. And here you can see the lapis lazuli stones are actually here and they're going to show it closer here in a couple of photos. You can see this is just a sterling silver edge magnifying glass. There is that lapis lazuli on the side and they do show each of those. Here you can see the Cartier is marked with Spain there. And it is also signed with that Cardi A, so you would be able to identify it. And great sale coming in at almost $1,000. This is the final one for this video. This is a Baccarat paperweight, Pansy Garland. They did put Antique 1860 and... This one is scratched. They do have that in the title. This one sold for a thousand dollars. Buy it now. You can see quite a few scratches here on it. And here is the bottom of that Baccarat. And this one is pretty rough condition and still sold for a thousand dollars. So make sure to remember some of them, even with damage, could be very, very valuable. All right, that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, next week I will put out a video with ones under $500 per your request. Let me know which one was your favorite paperweight down in the chat. The fish one was definitely mine. I have enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Hit the like button. Make sure you're still subscribed. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.